We've upped our standards. So now, up yours. The Daily Mojo. It is Dan Andros, fresh back from the Swiss Alps. Yeah, and uh, there all the time, every and, every Tuesday, hey, right. every other Tuesday. I right, so brag on brag on the uh, the youngling. He was uh, all star uh, golf. Yes, PGA Junior League. He made the all star team, so he got to go play an extra little match. There It was fun. It was a happened to do it. They did it on a Tuesday morning. I don't know why, but that's what they did. Yeah, whatever. He's whatever 12. day He's is twelve uh, years. And he's good at. I see. I cannot. I can't even hit the damn ball. Well, see that. See, I've this tried. was part of my big. This was part of my big scheme, though, because now, you know, a lot of the parents out there, you know, they want to have their kid be like the next Tiger Woods. Like I know that that's unreasonable. So my goal as a dad was just to get my sons competent to hit the ball, and it's great. They're twelve <laughs> years old, and we we can actually go to a full course together. It's fun. They can play from the red tees. It's great. My dad, my brother. Uh, they both could go out and hit golf balls and they go to the driving. I, I never, I don't know what it was. It was like a mental block with me. I could not, it'd be like, foom, foom. I'd miss, miss. And then I'd t- tap the ball and go bloop, 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 you know, five feet. Yeah, and I just, it's a fair, I think it's an my bone structure's game. wrong. It's, it's a beautiful game and it's an infuriating game because there are way too many ways to mess up. <laughs> So, but it's fun. I'm it's a good, just, it's a good time. I'm not, I can drive the golf cart though. I'm good at that. There you go. There you I, go. I do enjoy, you got to be good at something. Might as well be uh, that. Hey, how close are you to where, uh, 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 is it Plum, Pennsylvania? Are you close um, to Plum? No, it's near Pittsburgh, but I saw Did you this see video the, and it was, yes. Insane. What the, they're I saying it's was, not a gas leak. Not a gas leak? I thought that's the only thing that could possibly blow up a house. Nope. I remember seeing a. I I remember seeing an episode of like, it was it was American Greed or something like that, and this uh, person came up with this scheme to intentionally blow up their house and like get the insurance money. It was like an insurance fraud, and then it ended up just being like that a massive explosion and uh it killed you know the neighbors and stuff it like blew up the neighbors you know again like if you're gonna do the blow it up your house thing for an insurance scheme like don't do it when your houses are five feet from another house like it's just right i guess if you're thinking of blowing up your house you're probably not the sharpest tool in the shed in the first place uh, yeah i was gonna say Uh, but Anyway, but, but that's it, the only thing I could think of. I was like, either it was an accidental leak and then somebody sparked it or it was intentional. Mm. But yeah, what else could make an explosion other than that? Other than like a, you know, F-16 or something, you know, an F-35 I know. zooming by and launching it. Ron, uh, Ron posited it could be a, a meth lab, but then we looked at meth lab Meth explosions. labs don't explode like that. They don't explode. Like, I mean, that house isn't just damaged. No. It, that house it, is it, gone. It, it looked like a Moab hit it. You know, you remember the Moabs that the, we were dropping on? Uh-huh. The mother of all Iraq? bombs. Yeah, yeah, it does look like that. It just instantly pulverized it. I mean, it was spectacular. I mean, tragic, obviously. I mean, I felt particularly bad. Obviously, everyone inside, it's horrible. But the dad and the son who were walking, they, those two died. It was like a 40-year-old and a 12-year-old. And they were just mm-hmm. taking a walk down the street. And happened to be there when it exploded and i had not heard that yet but that's yeah distressing i didn't i didn't know that either yeah uh yeah. i mean if there's any good thing i guess at least it would be a, how an explosion that massive at least it would be fast i would hope i would hope yeah you'd, hope you'd so be too. gone you'd like that yeah but, yeah the uh according to the uh uh, the Trib Live, which I guess is the, uh, I don't, Pennsylvania Tribune, whatever it is. Uh, yeah. Cause of the Plum House explosion could take months or years to find. It wasn't a gas leak. <clears throat> so How could they rule that out so quick? That's great. That's what's interesting. I had not seen that part and, of it, that they ruled it out. If, they're, if it's going to take months, then. Or years. How could it take you years to find the cause of an explosion like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, maybe, just, they, yeah, I was thinking of the gas thing. I mean, the, maybe they don't have, maybe it's like, maybe, those look like newer houses. I would think they would have gas lines. 
lot of the older houses have the oil tanks, you know. Well, the thing is, like even down here in Texas, when we were looking for a house, uh, there are a lot of neighborhoods that don't have gas. It's all electric. So yeah, so maybe, maybe that's how, that's they, how they know maybe it's they, yeah yeah yeah. They just don't there's have no it. gas going to that. Well, there was something going to that house that was explosive, but uh, yeah, again, it's it 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 sucks seeing, you know, the 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 poor kid and and his dad and all of that stuff. So yeah. Um, all right. So uh, let's see. Whilst you uh, have not been here, the world has changed tremendously, as you know. The uh, Trump Trump's every day on, uh, it, uh, right. Trump's got another indictment. Right. I mean, at least we're another not living in a banana republic now, Brad. Right. Everything's exactly. On, everything's on the up and up. The the current sitting president <sighs> and uh, federal prosecutors around the country are just happen to be throwing indictments at his number one political opponent. I, right. What? And did what? did there's you know this? There. <laughs> there's nothing to see here. Move along. The uh, which is another great airplane quote. Um, Wait, can the, I pause real quick? Hold your thought. Yeah, your meme, Holding. the 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 meme that you showed there with uh, airplane. I mm -hmm. forgot that the kid's name is Joey. That's his. That, that's in the movie. That's the kid's name, Joey. Right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's actually Joe Biden as a kid, and that explains Whoa. so much. You know, this that guy's was... talking to him about Turkish prisons and all this dirty stuff. <laughs> it maybe. Is that Joe Biden? Do they have the meme wrong? Is it Joe? Bi Joey this is, is Joe Biden? I'm this just, is just time folding here. back on itself. This, <laughs> anyway. we're, in we're, in we're in the wormhole. We're in the wormhole. <laughs> it's uh, the uh, in Turkish prison. <laughs> Joey Biden. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so bizarre. And I don't know if you heard or not, but RFK Jr. was denied Secret Service protection by the Biden administration, even yeah. though he's running for. I it's like, what's that about? If you when you have a chance, watch that interview he did with Tucker Carlson. They okay. uh, he dropped it last night. It's fascinating. I, and then you, yep. So, I was gonna say I'd what? listen to it. I I I'm going to admit I have a hard time listening. I have a hard time listening to to him. To, just, to the way he, yeah. yes, to the way he speaks. I don't know why mean? he has yeah, talked like that. I don't know what the issue is, but it's just it's probably not his fault. I don't know, but it's I, an I act. feel bad even it's saying an act. I, it's this is a me issue. I just can't it's right. hard to listen to. No, I get I it. I and here's the way around that is put it on either one point two five or one and a half times. Okay. And it doesn't sound like that. And that's that's what I did. I listened to the <laughs> whole right, thing. Right, and you, and it's I'll still understand. But I'm totally with you because you constantly want to go <clears throat> <clears throat> you want to clear your throat yeah. for him. It's like yeah. filling in the words for a person who stutters. You shouldn't do it, yeah. but you want to do it. Um, exactly. So yeah. So where were you? Know, you? Where so, were you? Um, I was looking at the the weirdness that is again going looking at the the Sound of Freedom movie, which is now what yeah. is it a hundred? How many? How much you know, money is that thing made? I haven't looked, but it was actually ahead of. Um, I'm, I'm gonna look it up while we're talking here, but it was actually ahead of like Indiana Jones, and actually, you know what one it was really close to, and I maybe ahead. I don't know if it's ahead still, but was the uh, Mission Impossible movie. That blows my mind. Whoa. That a Mission Impossible. I mean, Tom Cruise, they spent like $10 million on one stunt. Um, right. Right. Uh, Let's see. Oh, hold on. Let me, right, here see. Look it up. Box yeah, I'm looking here, go. too. I know. We're all we're That's all where I go. This. I love that site. Um, I'm trying to find. Okay. Ex so except somebody else bought that I site. Look at I don't the one. think we can trust it. Uh, you want know, Weekend. Just, Let's see here. I'm Let's go back to general. Weekend. Let's box office. Box office. I don't want to look Sound of Freedom because then it just shows me just Sound of Freedom. Box office, Mojo, right. and then now. Okay, 223. Here we go. Okay, so, wow, Super Mario Brothers is actually ahead of Barbie. but uh, Isn't that weird? And Barbie um, has made $111 million, which, again, I cannot understand the fascination with Barbie. Uh, okay, so Mission worldwide... Impossible. Worldwide, yeah. um, uh, the Mission Impossible one has done a lot more than than it's done five hundred and twenty-two sure. million. But when you're looking domestically, domestically, yeah. Sound of Freedom is an uh, almost just a couple hundred thousand dollars ahead of Indiana Jones, one hundred and seventy-two point six million, one hundred seventy-two million to one hundred seventy-two million. But they're just slightly ahead. Wow! 
obviously international they they get a little more 375 to there is no international for sound of freedom um 159 million domestic for mission impossible it's 13 million dollars ahead of <laughs> of mission impossible that's insane wow. to me that's insane now mission impossible has half a billion globally so that's right right great for them well but i don't know if you heard this how this, do you lose the, domestically a tom cruise blockbuster where he's jumping off of ramps on a motorcycle and then free falling down actually doing it i know and he loses to sound of freedom that's insane that's insane again right, and and with all of the pushback because that was again the most bizarre thing that i see i, I still haven't seen the movie but because i don't want to go to a movie theater Ugh. but the pushback that that movie received and and you and i've discussed this it's like how could you possibly be against, you know, the concept of this movie? Anti-sex trafficking. And unless you're, unless you know, right. Oh, you could be involved in you're it. Kinda, you're kind of. But it also set the, the border. The border is another huge issue, which is uh, yeah. the connection to it as well. And that made the most sense to me. It's like, okay, these they're seeing it as an anti-immigrant film somehow. But that was the only thing that made the remotest bit of sense. And again, all this pushback has done nothing but drive up the popularity of this movie, which is, I'm, again... I'm going <laughs> to lean towards the former that we talked about, which is that Hollywood has a pedophile problem. I'm just going to say it. They've got a pedophile problem. Brad, some of these movies that come out, I, I honestly, like, because I turn on my... Um, prime video even and uh -huh. they promote the thing that they've got out the latest and yep. i don't even know what this one's about i didn't even click on it because it was the title was disturbing to me it's a bunch of high school age looking kids and it says the summer mm -hmm. i turned pretty i I've don't seen know the... what that's about i don't know what it's about i don't want to know what it's about it's it's a bunch of kids talking about that like you think about hollywood and you go back and you look at some of these movies where i mean look at it what is it american pie it's all right. about high school kids trying to have sex like well you're I'm, Hollywood. at one time Think i was one of those a, okay but but now that i'm an adult and right. i'm a I was. person who understands that at 15 you shouldn't be trying you know you shouldn't be trying to sleep around you know as a christian it's right it's you wait for marriage right but look at it right. from Hollywood's perspective. Imagine pitching a movie and it's just completely fine. Hey, we're going to show a bunch of 15-year-olds uh, uh, getting it on and trying to sneak around in their parents' house. Like, that's despicable. I mean, would you, if you had friends over, right, and your kids are high school age, and they're joking right. around about how much sex they're having, the, the kids, I mean, would you not boot that person out of your house? But then it, they're making it would be a, to show us an, an awkward conversation, and then you got Stifler's you mom over. and all of Picture that. Picture your kids when they're high school age, or if they're not there yet, they are high right. school age. You're sitting around the dinner table, and they turn around and say, so Johnny, how many girls you had sex with so far this year in junior high? <laughs> what you would what? punch this guy in the face and kick him out of your house? But hey, what about we can that Olsen movies girl? About it and show it on screen. <laughs> Right, we're messed up. Be, I, as an older guy now, if I, you know, a producer of a movie like this, it would be kind of awkward being a. All right, uh, the two of you, uh, let's, uh, you know, we're gonna. This is the shot where the two of you are making out. So go ahead, and roll the camera. I'll be standing right here. We're all, we're all fine. I'm just gonna be. I'll be right here watching. It. And yeah, as a, as a teenager and as a youthful person, it was, you know. We all so had our, that, you know, our our viewpoint. Right, when we were, when our parents, if our parents weren't raising us, they weren't teaching us right <laughs> from wrong, and we were letting Hollywood do it. Hollywood groomed us, Brad. <clears throat> they groomed us in the seventies, yeah. and nobody stopped them. So, they did all these movies. Look how showing, I turned oh, out. I guess all of us kids were watching TV. I guess we're all supposed to do that, and right. we're all like, "Yay!" And of course, you know. It's a fun activity, no so who's going to say no? But Right. No wonder I, I have know, mommy issues. Uh, we've been groomed. We've been groomed. We were all groomed by, by the, Hollywood. I think, we, I, think we are, I think we're owed reparations, Brad. 
That's I, what I'm going to go with. I'm in. Hollywood I'm Studios. in. Okay. N- now I'm in 110%. I'm in. We're going to have to go to California, though. How can we frame this though. the woke way so that they'll be, they'll be right. able to do it? We'll say, look, you you damaged my view of women. And uh-huh. I, now I view, I you know, my view of women is warped because of the things you put into my brain. Right. Back in 1970. And now I'm... A- I mean, we... I'm, and now I'm attracted to Ron, you. which is really, really just, oh, man, I mean, and Ron I is, a, I'm gonna put a, I know, it's just. Thank you. <laughs> can I put a challenge out to. Uh, Please do. To all the, uh, to all the mojo heads out there. Um, let's put out some movies that are, like American Pie was the only one I, that comes to my mind because that's a little bit more recent, you know, within the last couple decades, my era. Right. But But let's think of some of these movies that were just Hollywood grooming us to think that teenage sex and underage sex was totally cool and had no problem with it and they just put it out like american pie like that's there's no there's first, nothing wrong first with, tom cruise with it in american pie what was the first tom cruise movie uh rebecca the, one, De Mornay. Um, the what was uh, that? risky that, business not yes i never actually saw the movie i saw the clips but what you yeah, never saw risky think, business i don't think i've seen it either what the? I know the scene. That's the one where I mean, it's the famous scene. Wow. Right, where he slides out on his in his socks, and he comes yes. out. And he yeah, that's the out. one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's it's also where they have him. to get the bull. Yeah. Joel, get off the babysitter and come out with your hands up. And so it's yeah, it's a it's a. I mean that would Grooming. yeah. I guess I was groomed by that. I all right. I'm in. I'm in. I if there especially if there's a chance that I could win. Uh, some money off of this thing. It's class action. But it is, you're right. Class action lawsuit against all the Hollywood studios. Your viewpoint does change as you grow older and you, you know, have different, different sensibilities. And it's, uh, when you look at the, the movies that, uh, you know, have been put out there for kids. Gosh, I can't even think what are, what are the recent movies that are out there for the youths of America? That's how out of I touch I am. We, we don't even watch, know it. We hardly watch anything, and you know we're we try to be very discerning about what we watch. And so, I, I if you haven't used VidAngel, by the way, it's a great, it is a great tool. Yeah, it's like VidAngel or something. But like, yeah. So what you do is you you run the VidAngel app, and it connects to all of your streaming stuff like Netflix and whatever else, and it filters. It's just a filter, and so it'll sit there okay. and do a movie like. Like we, and it, for us, it really helps because I have an eight year old and I have an 18 year old. So it's like, we can't, it's very right. difficult for us to do family movie night. Right. Right. Um, right. So, so, but you get VidAngel and like, we got Top Gun Maverick and there's, you know, there's some swearing in there and stuff and things like that. Not a ton, but then there's like a sex implied sex scene in there. And, but you can go through in VidAngel right. and you can just check, check, check. And it just <laughs> skips them. Wow, uh, that's great. Okay, so, yeah, no yeah. more profanity or nudity. Now, see, as yeah. a consenting adult, I'm like, ooh, that sounds uh, dull. But yeah, if you got kids, because there's nothing more awkward. And and this, you you, I, I remember, you know, as a kid, you're watching some movie. Hell, even if you're watching the some, uh, you know, Mary Tyler Moore show, and then a Tampax ad comes on, and you're sitting there in the living room with your mom and dad, you're like, you want to cry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah, I know. Same thing. So yeah. If you're if you're if you want to uh, you know protect your your kids from seeing this stuff and from hearing it, that's a that's a great option, which wasn't available to us when we were kids. No wonder we got nope. groomed. See, yep, we got groomed. Wow. And, and I think, look, I think Hollywood has so warped um, just our view on sex in general. Like, no doubt, I don't think no there's doubt. any reason at all for any uh, any sex scene. At all, like there's no reason for it. It's softcore porn. I mean, it's that's all it is. That's all it is. And and ninety nine percent of the time, it doesn't. You don't need to see it. Like why why do you need to show this? And particularly, what drives me nuts is this idea, Brad. Before and I'll let you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a filibuster. No, I know. I got idea a great idea of about like that. Go ahead. Meet a girl. They have a laugh, and then jump cut to them in the sack. Like what right. is that? That is. That is just Wishful not thinking. how, but yeah, but it's a, it's not reality <laughs> and B it's just like the worst possible way to do life. But anyway, I digress. No, to that, to your point, remember the movie earthquake, the one from 74 original Charlton Heston. I was, I was negative one. If you've then, never so. seen that one either. Oh, it's a, it's a, I think it's a good movie, but 
you know. Okay. But there is not. a weird because there it's a it's it's a sex scene. It's uh, but it's not one. Um, it's Ava Gardner. No, not Ava Gardner. It's the French chick and Charlton Heston. And it's the weirdest. They have a glass of wine, and then there's this weird just jump cut, and he's putting there his tie go. on. But but right. it's all you see nothing. There's it's nothing. just implied, <laughs> and it's just because when you said there's no reason to see that, I thought, well, you know, in earthquake you didn't see it. It was a, it was an well, odd right. jump. I don't know why I thought I of it. You but can it do, I think it. Yeah, I think Hollywood should do like if it makes sense to the storyline. Like you need to know they they for some reason they right. had to have sex. Like you can imply it that it happened. You don't need to show it. I do not need to see that. Like that is porn. It's porn just without the full nudity. Like, I, you know, right. <laughs> if for some reason they needed to have sex. <laughs> I, I can't think of a movie, but like That's maybe funny. they got someone pregnant. Like that would kind of, right. you know, you'd kind of, that right. part of it would be the storyline, right? Like, I, you know, wouldn't I don't that, know. Wouldn't that be implied? <laughs> She's pregnant. Well, that would be implied. Well, that, you know. never know these days. Uh, that's a good point. Excellent point. I can't believe we're out of time. Uh, so why <laughs> give us? It really has flown. Well, I looked up. I was like, oh, look, crap. I'm coming up with these theories on the fly. Uh, these are general I, senses. I've had. So I'll have to. You got to bear with me as we're kind of thinking it out out loud here. We got to. We got to. We'll iron it out. This, I've this Hollywood you. grooming us idea. I'm, uh, you're right. Yeah, we're going to have to find the, the right attorney. All right, uh, what are uh, we talking about on the uh, Quick Start podcast today? I don't know, man. Who knows? Good I stuff. Forgot. Excellent. I well, you go over to uh, on there. It's probably that's, just listen. It's, it's probably all good. really good a, stuff. But oh, the communists. Right? No, this. I'll tell you this one. The ah, communists are going after right. the Christian cafe owner. This is wild story. Billy has it. So it's on the pod. Oh wow! All right, stuff. cool. The First Amendment. Did you know that you have rights? Constitution says you do. Lives here. Watch and listen at thedailymojo.com.